tonight the results, first round of results came in. Yeah, pretty exciting. Yeah. Um, as a first time candidate and with a grassroots campaign, we're expecting to be fairly close in the first results, but we're um, pretty excited to see a four point lead tonight. So, um, what are you thinking is going to happen in the next coming days? What's the, what's the plan? I look forward to the next uh, phase of votes coming in. Uh, I think that we'll continue to trend in the direction we've been going, and uh, we're pretty excited that. Uh, at the end of this, we'll, we'll be in office. So feeling pretty confident. Feel, feeling really good right now, yes. So um, there's been, within the last few days of the election, there was kind of a recent scandal and uh, allegations of harassment for Urquhart. Is there anything, do you, do you want to comment on that at all? Or? Well, um, I think that, that uh, I don't know what effect it had on, had on the race. Um, certainly across the nation, the Me Too campaign and sexual harassment and those things, I believe played a role in the campaign to what degree, um, in all campaigns actually, to what degree it affected this one, I don't know. Um, is there any kind of, anything you want to say to people who, um, you know, yeah. spoke up and said the alleged harassment? I really appreciate it. We've been across the county talking to a lot of people and the support that we've received from Enumclaw to Shoreline has been overwhelming. And it's been um, just a genuine feeling to get to know people authentically and to, to hear what their concerns are. It was about listening, listening so we can learn, be informed by the community about how we best do law enforcement for them. And so what are some kind of things you've heard about how to best do law enforcement? Well, one of the things we need to do is work um, to create a new uh, community outreach section in the sheriff's office where we actually have community councils or advisory councils that speak to the sheriff and everyone in the department about what we can do best to serve to return public safety, good public safety across the county. Uh, the, the other thing of real interest to us and inside law enforcement and outside is making sure that we have the best training in de-escalation and crisis intervention, that we're outfitting our deputies with less lethal options and tools so we can mitigate use of force and prevent lethal force situations whenever possible. So those are a couple of the really big issues we want to get on right away. And what are some things you are planning on? What are some kind of actions you're planning to do? The actions would be uh, to, again, initiate the training that we so need in the sheriff's office and make sure that we find a way to purchase those tools that we need to deploy to all of our deputies so that they have an option between the use of their taser and their firearm. So what do you think kind of the message voters have sent with you being ahead? I think the message so far is that they're, they're wanting change in the sheriff's office, that they want a person with high integrity that's honest and will be really transparent with them and, and listen to them, and that we restore honor and integrity to the office of sheriff itself. Anything else you want to add about this tonight? Just this has really been a humbling experience. Um, the people I've got, had the opportunity to talk to, a really good team around me, the support inside and outside the department. I've been honored, and I look forward to serving as sheriff.